Like that? Is, am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Point of View. As I attempt to make sense of this. Anyway, moving on. Okay, fair enough. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Relax, sir. Oh, no. It's only a shame there isn't a pet the, hu pet the feeble human button, you know? It'd be kind of cute if you could just pet one of them. Just to show them that you aren't so hostile. At least to the ones that don't want to kill you. Wait a minute. I could have sworn I destroyed that. Uh. What the hell? <gasps> Did I not destroy that tank? What's going on here? Oh, is it because... No, that, that can't be it. That cannot be it. That's weird, though. I thought I destroyed the tank. What happened? Weird. But, oh, okay. Maybe I uh, just neglected to save it. Fair enough. Let's try it again. Okay. There we go. Well, hey, look on the bright side. You get to watch it blow up all over again. Right, there's the one. I think I see a sphere in his hand. You can just barely see it. You can barely make it out. So that's the XTBS, huh? Interesting. Oh, these humans, they can't keep their hands off anything, they just have to touch it, don't they? Ha, huh, let's recap. First, the orange ones stole it from us, the dark ones stole it from the orange ones, and now the white ones are hanging from the dark ones. It would be kind of cute if I didn't have to, so much writing on getting the XTBS back. Nor can I discount the sudden appearance of spheres here as coincidence. I thought earlier they, the, perhaps they were following our attack forces before the portals closed. But seeing as the spheres are teleporting in by themselves leads me to only one conclusion, they're killing our attack forces before they even go through, and are following the XTBS. I had said before I was curious they became hostile towards us once I began work on my research. Now I see they're trying to rescue their own kind. This implies a level of intelligence we are unaware of, and a wrath I do well to respect. This will complicate my plans somewhat, but by now, I'm used to that sort of development. Yeah. That's for sure. Are they like the S XTBS? I mean, at least I know that there is another way I can deal with them. These, these little guys right here. Whoa. Don't mind me, sir. I'm harmless to you. Want to get out. And I'll let you get out of here. I want to let you get out of here. Ah, darn it. Is it not working? Daggummit. Oh, there was another one down there. Shit. Oh no. Relax, pal. As long as you don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. Dang it. Hard to avoid taking damage here. Come on, you bastard. Just try to let them do all the work. Until I hear the explosions, do not stop shooting. I love their homing nature. There you go, that's better. Is that the last of them? No, of course not. Of course it's not. Here you go, buddy. Just hurry up and die, please. That'll be very good for me. Are there any more of them? Of course there are. I should never discount the possibility that there is always more of them. Waiting around every corner. Screw me over. 
Thankfully, though, I think this time they're actually gone for good. Maybe I should try to jump down, but let me see if I can find a safe spot. Ow. That was not a safe spot. Even as little as that was, that did some damage. Maybe I should go down the hard way. Kinda sucks, though. I kinda wish that I could just, you know, jump down easily and not have to break my legs in the process. That'd be great. Ow. Yeah, that was a bit of a harder landing. Stop that. Please. Please just stop that. God darn it. Getting to wonder what would be more painful, going down the normal way or just falling down? Here you go. How about some of this action, huh? At least I can mitigate this kind of damage. Darn it. There you go. Thanks, my helpful bug minions. Oh shit. I better be careful. Actually, it's about as much either way. Waiting for them to come back as opposed to just letting it... Destroyed? No, not really. God darn it. Take this. Darn it. I don't think I can get this one. I think I might actually have to peek out from behind cover here. Okay, I can have a maximum bait, which is pretty good. Ow. Is there a ladder? Okay, there was a ladder. Why? Okay, here we go. Somehow that did no fall damage. Despite being almost as long. Don't question it, just... Just accept it as a quirk at this point. Ow. What if I had actually landed on that box? Would that have helped? I mean, logically I would say no, but... Crazier things have happened already. This box is... Completely missable. Darn it. Yeah, it's only seven points though, I mean... Really? Brick. Okay, yeah, that one's bigger and, um... Seems to have mitigated more damage. Two points of damage. It's not bad. I'll accept that. Okay, um... There's where he went off to. And let's see if I can get the XTBS back. He couldn't have gotten far. But I'm gonna need this to keep my health up. Judging by the loading screen, the end is near. Okay, fair enough. So I can go on to... Crap, what was that called? Um, uh, Entropy Zero Two. Yeah, the sequel did release. I saw someone play it briefly. I didn't want to spoil myself, so I didn't see too much of it, but you know. How do I get out? What the? Oh, okay, here we go. Go screw yourself, please. Oh boy, this is bad. Son of a bitch. This is not worth it. Screw this. I'm gonna lose far more health than I gain. Just let the homing bugs kill him. Or not. 
There we go. Lost a lot of health, but hopefully it'll be worth it. What the frick? Who shot at me? Is the helicopter shooting at me? Yep. There's the helicopter. And it does indeed shoot at you. Now what am I gonna do? There's gotta be another another option here. Can I bug it to death? Bugs won't even go for it. Now what do I do? There has to be something here. December backwards? What? Okay, fair enough. Okay, what if I go for the direct attack? Will that work? It'll dodge. Yeah, that's a, another possibility. It'll just straight up miss. Or it just won't be effective at all, even if it does hit. Because what the hell do I expect here? Maybe if I run. It's locked. I'm screwed. I'm screwed, man, I'm screwed. Maybe if I hit that red thing? What about that? Nope, that's not working. What if I target the helicopter itself? Will my lightning work? Could that even possibly work? I have no idea. It worked against other... It worked against turrets and things like that. But it definitely did not work against the tank. I had to use a bomb for that. I'm not getting any health back, but... I don't think I got any health back from the turrets either, so I can't write it off. There's always the possibility that it might work. And again, there's also the possibility that I've lost my mind. I think I see smoke. There's smoke. It's working. Hooray, it's working. My crazy plan is working. I swear I saw smoke. Yep. Dig gum it. Well, screw you too, pal. Jeez, one bullet does like 10 damage to you. Jeebus. Okay, it's firing missiles for some reason. Damn you. Ah, crap. Or maybe I was just fooling myself. I was fooling myself, wasn't I? This never had a chance to begin with, did it? I don't see a damn thing that can help me out at this point. The end is near, all right. But not the end I wanted. I don't think I can destroy this thing. I thought I could. I thought I saw smoke, but I guess I was wrong. I swear I thought I saw smoke on it. But I guess it's not working. Damn you, stupid helicopter. Yeah, this is not working out. However the hell I'm supposed to destroy this damn thing, that is not it. I'm gonna call it right now, that is not the way. 
I can't go through that way, and I can't fight it either. What am I supposed to do? Dang gummit, and it kills you so fast you can't even do anything. This area right here is... Wait, what the? Oh, it's just like in Half-Life 1. You're supposed to go underground. Just like in Half-Life 1. Okay, go screw yourself, pal. You're the hostile one, pal. Really? Jackass. Here we go. Let's see you take care of this. Remember, you did this to yourself, pal. Hope you choke on him, too. You bastard. Grenades. Other things that are guaranteed not to work. Oh, wait, this is underwater. Interesting. Confined space. Entry can be fatal. Enter by permit only. What the hell? Bastard. Duh, go for the head. I keep mis I keep not doing that. Granted, I could have also just blown him up, but, you know, health back. Or maybe I couldn't have. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's better. So this is how we escape. I can see a little bit better now. Hmm. Now what do we do? Oh, I see. See now, it's hard to see around here. Even with the night vision, I can barely see where I'm going. I realize that the blame for all this lays further back than Nihilanth, but not all the way back to our ancestors. The ones, the truly responsible ones were in fact our base forms, the descendant of other ancestors who possessed lungs and meager telepathic abilities. It was those... It was these being who first decided upon the course our species would take, and it was there that the first mistake was made. Part of the problem was creating a single being from which all genetic heritage and knowledge would come. Since Nihilath telepathically implants part of his memories in all developing Xenicins, so they are born adults, this ensures that any false thoughts are passed down through the generations and accepted as intuitive truth. The other part of the problem is being a hive mind off of intelligent beings. If we workers were simple auto automatons, none of this would have happened, but we were granted the ability to think for ourselves. Give a being this ability and then try to forcefully subdue it through such guises as family, fealty, and spirituality. All upheld to a being who himself is conceivably wrong, and you have planted the seed for dissent. Okay. Are you trying to, to make a message here? An allegory, perhaps? Oh shit. I'm not going to face that thing on its turf. I'm going to face it up here. Where I have the home field advantage. Take this. Okay. I'm getting health that faster than it can drain. Take that, break. Shit. You know what, screw it. I'll go ahead and save. 91% is not that much below 100%. 
Okay. Careful. Careful. I said careful. Okay, that ladder right there, that's gotta be a key to something. Yep, I was right. And I will save constantly just in case. Can't wait to see where this comes. The ultimate irony, however, is the hypocrisy of free will. When the base forms were created, they were the first of their kind to think for themselves instead of unquestionably serve another. Given this chance, they came up with the ancient prophecies to make sense of the large and frightening new world they had emerged into, and when the time came to choose their species, the course their species would take, they from then on reverted to the comfort of a system of procreation. The hypocrisy of the Nihilanth follows the ancient prophecies as if they were undeniable fact, while any worker who dares think outside of the system is quickly silenced. The very free will our system, our species advanced to is suppressed by the being who thinks he is exercising it. By birthing, leading, and being in all of us like some benevolent deity, he smooths out most wrinkles by blocking all outlets for our free will. I had mentioned our workers, how workers develop faster than any other case because of our similarity to the base form. It is for this very reason that workers are the ones in which rebellious urges surface. It isn't a glitch in our genetic code, deviation from our forefathers that made us act out as we do. It is similarity to them. Interesting. How dare you think for yourself? Oh, jeez. Damn, grenade throwing bastards. Damn it. Gotta aim for the head. Okay, you want bombs, huh? I'll show you bombs. Enjoy. If you're even still alive. Shit, he is. Crafty bastard. Here you go, here's the bomb for you. Shit. 99% isn't bad. But I'd rather get 100 if you're still alive. He's running. Yeah, that's what I thought. Die like the rest. Great, more of these guys. That's fine, that's fine. I got my own rapid fire system here. Take this, asshole. Dead gimmick. Take this. Darn it. Some of them aren't going towards him. Yeah, come on. Oh, this is messed up. What the hell's happening? Why'd everything get so bright all of a sudden? Are those grenades? Those are grenades, aren't they? Shit. Or maybe just flashes of those bullets in the impacting. Dead gummit. Well, this sucks. Nicely done. I think it's actually my distinct advantage to shoot them from this distance. Their accuracy kind of fails. Shit. Speaking of accuracy failing, my accuracy is failing big time. But not of some inherent flaw. Just, um, user error, that's all. Damn it, I'm supposed to be hitting them in the head and I'm not doing it. Why can't I hit him in the head? Oh boy. Take this. Yeah, I'd see you run to your own grenade. What the hell happened? 
Did he throw a grenade that ricocheted around the goddamn corner? Ah, son of a bitch. There we go. 100 health, too. I'm never gonna find a, a better situation. Ah, damn it. There we go. Even if he hurts me, it doesn't matter as long as I'm left at 100 and he's left dead. No downside. Yeah, keep doing that. Yo, yeah, oh, good it does ya. Shit. It's not working anymore. 88% could be better, but it could be worse too. They're gonna pop up when I'm going up the ladder, aren't they? That was kinda right. Take this. Hey, yeah, you asshole. There you go. Everything's fine now. Until I get to another minigun bastard. Take this. Take this, you asshole. I've never seen the one that actually moves around before. That's new. Huh. Let's see if I can... Okay. Ah, that cost me a lot of health. I don't want to do that. Ah, darn it. Darn it. Why don't you come over here? There we go. I will accept that. Make it out of here. Excuse me. Serious. Really? <laughs> Asshole. Relax. I'm here to help. Ease. Oh dear. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. My goodness. All right. See ya. You son of a bitch. Uh. You son of a bitch. I'm just gonna have to drain it out of you. Like I always do. You're an idiot. All you're doing is ensuring that I gotta drain you. You are a moron, sir. But then again, what else is new, huh? Okay, this must be where I gotta go. It must be. It said the end is near, which means I suspect um, this is going to be the end soon. The end is nigh usually means it's the end soon. What the hell? Oh shit, it's one of the Half-Life machines. A boss? Throwing grenades. It's throwing grenades. Wonderful. Now what do I do? Now what am I supposed to do here? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh boy. They're trying to flush me out. This is bad.
Take this. Well, that's not doing anything against it. None of my weapons are doing anything against it. This is uh, an impossibility, isn't it? It sounds like, um... The rocket launcher from freaking Quake 2. Yeah, that thing, right there. That sound right there. I'm gonna try to see if I can find anything to do here. Is he even vulnerable to attack? It's hard to tell. There's not exactly much in terms of damage feedback in this game, other than my own. Well, so much for fucking that. Ah, shit. My goodness. Okay, come on. Oh, boy. Dang, gummit. I don't know what to do here. So, I think I'm just gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to sp Okay, wait a minute. How silly of me to think there wouldn't be some new obstacle between the XTBS and me. Here I was all along, all these epiphanies flooding over me like cleansing healing pools. And the humans prove they still got a trigger to up their sleeve. I admire that. Whatever this thing is, it's technologically based. That means my electrical attack won't drain it. Siphon energy from it that I can use for health. And it also means that most of my other weaponry isn't smart enough to know how to attack this thing. Luckily for me, its size opens up an avenue of attack to a seize upon. While most organic weaponry, weaponry does not know how to see technology as an enemy, that is because most technology is cool, lifeless, in a manner of speaking. The larger brain creatures, however, such as chum toads, snarks, and stutta, stucca bats, have just enough gray matter to realize that if it's warm, kill it. This device, no doubt due to its large size, is sizzling with heat. I see. So I can attack it with my weapons. Like that? Is, am I supposed to do this? I have no idea. Take this. I don't even know if this is working or not. And I'm getting destroyed. So that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like failed attempts. Fruitless ventures. Come on. Come on, you bastard. And I guess I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Okay, it lied to me. It said that your bugs would know what to do because it's warm. Peace out. Have a good one and have a nice and pleasant day, I guess. See you later. They're just avoiding it. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix. And a like and a comment are always appreciated too. Thank you.